good morning good morning family hey it is a video day in may this is video number six today is may 6 2017 and it is 807 in the a.m and it's raining how about that it is raining outside but um i was moved this morning to do a video on um some some things that uh, were just pushed in my you know pushed in my thoughts to speak on today, and so my hope is that you know you guys learn a little bit from it, uh, and hey I'm in a good headspace. How about that? I got a little gorilla glue number four in my in my life, and I went outside because I've been the pool lady this morning. I've been the groundskeeper. So I went outside and I was just, you know, taking it all in and, you know what I'm saying, getting getting about nature and, and all that. And so, and as I was outside, y'all, y'all ready for what I, let me introduce you to a new bee, new little family member that just then came in and sprouted, okay? This is no other than Harry OG and she has sprouted. Oh my God, it sprouted. It sprouted. So, and I, let's see, I did this. Okay, I put, oh, it's starting. It's, 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 it's dripping. Okay, Harry OG, um, 4-3-2017, and I put three seeds in there. I put three seeds in there, and oh, my God, it's sprouting. So, and I didn't know if it was going to work or not. I just stepped out on faith and was like, you know what? Okay, I got all these seeds. Let me see what's going to happen. <clears throat> And I did that on the what, the third? Yep, I did it on the third. Today, I mean, I I did it 5-3. I don't know why that's saying April. I did it 5-3. So that was, what, three days ago? And they're sprouting already. They are sprouting already. Well, Harry OG, he just decided to come through. I know I called him a girl a while ago, but that's Harry OG, and he just decided to debut. So I'm so excited about it. And so I was like, oh my God, so let me get on and just let you guys know that all is well with me. And, you know, I already know that I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. That That is what I do know. That is what I receive and that is what I believe. And with that, I wanted to come and talk about, one of the girls sent me a message and she was talking about my books and whatnot. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to come on and now I'm going to talk about some of my books and some of my go-tos that are here in my bourgeois that I just, my go-to stuff. This is... This is stuff that's in my space, and this is how I get down. We're going to start off with, as I was telling you guys, girls, you always want a study Bible. If you get a study Bible in your life, then therefore a study Bible is going to give you a better interpretation of what you're reading. It's going to tell you where to go. It's going to tell you different things to look up based on your circumstances and whatever it is that you're feeling or going through on that day. Now, this one is, oh, shit, uh-oh, oh, my God. Wow, all my little papers, you know, from going to service, and I put them in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> my auntie going to get a load out of this. And I put this, my auntie um, had given me a check that I had blessed my auntie, and she had given me a check, and I never cashed it. She was just, you know, merely paying me back. And this was in 9-6-2010, okay? Check that out. <laughs> I'll cover my name and I'll cover her name and her banking routing number. But look at the date on that. That is six nine six ten, and I just never cashed it. And I wanted to let her know that that was a gift. That was my blessing to her. And so she wanted to pay me back the money, and I just never cashed the check. So Auntie, I still got your check, and it's in my Bible. I love you. Okay. And so these is just, you know, for my offering, you know, to put in for offering and my tithes and whatnot. And these are just my books from church. But anyway, let me put all that back in here. I wasn't expecting that to fall out. Excuse me. <laughs> and that was one for Thanksgiving, too. But, okay, I wanted to show you guys the front of it right quick, girls, because I really, because this is a really, 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 really good one. Okay, this is the woman, the women of color, study Bible, King James Version. Okay? And this, and I, what I did was I put tabs in here to make it easier for me to be able to go based on whatever pastor says, go to Malachi, so-and-so, you know, whatever. Then therefore, Deuteronomy, go to Deuteronomy, this and that. So 
So I put the tabs in here myself. So then also when you guys go to your Christian bookstore, they have tabs. So then therefore it makes it easy to go to wherever you're going inside of, oh, there's another one. You plus my offering paper. Um, and so to make it easy to go through your Bible. And so getting a study one is always a good look. I got this case, however, from a yard sale, and it actually just it held her well. It was like a perfect size. And I think I got it from a yard sale for like a dollar, and I just love it. And so I keep her in here. I keep her at the top of my bookshelf, and this is just my go-to. I'm an audible, and I'm also visual. So I also got the Bible Experience. You guys going to hold it this way. It's called the Bible Experience. And, and it's just, okay, it's a complete Bible, and it's an audible, uh, audible book of the Bible, but it's so cold-blooded. Let me give y'all a little synopsis of this right here. It is the whole Bible being narrated by some of the, some of the greatest. Check this out. The Bible performed by Angela Bassett, Cuba Gooding Jr., Samuel L. Jackson, Bishop T.D. Jakes, L.L. Cool J., Cicely Tyson, Blair Underwood, Denzel Washington, Forrest Whitaker, Alfred Wilford and so many others and actually they're narrating the Bible through and through. Isn't that not special? I got this so many years ago and I don't even know if you can still buy it anymore but I bought this years ago and they're all on disc and it's the complete Bible. So on my iPod I uploaded this on my iPod and just like the Audacity of Hope. So and I so those different things that I like to listen to while I'm doing different things and I put my beats on and I'm on. And so uh, you know, and so I'm an audible. So just like the messages that I give to you guys, some people, you know, get things different type of ways. Everybody don't learn in the same way. You know, so hey I, some people got learning disabilities or whatever the case, and I could be one too because I learn a different type of way. And sometimes for me to learn and grasp things, sometimes I need a little humor behind it. I need you to give me different scenarios to make me get the visual of what you're talking about. That's the way in which I learn, and that's the way in which I convey to you guys. I want you to get the visual of what I'm talking about. Not just hearing what I'm saying, but actually listening to what I'm saying. Because some people listen for a rebuttal. Some people listen to retain. So, I'm trying to give a message to you guys, but I want you guys to see what I'm saying besides just hearing what I'm saying, if that, if that makes sense. So, um, also, yesterday while I was um, doing the video about the incense and whatnot, I forgot this book. And this is a really, really good book. It's called Incense Rituals. I'm sorry, the, um, the batteries went out. <laughs> Isn't that something? The battery straight went out. Wow, now I'm seeing all kind of stuff that fell out of there. Hmm. So, let me put all of this back inside of my um, Bible. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. The uh, batteries went out. So, I know you guys be talking about my flip, but guess what? You know, this is so easy for me. Yesterday, my son said, Mom, you know, we got to find you a camera that's just as easy as your flip because you need something else. <laughs> and maybe that is the case. I just need something else. Okay, so um, before it went out, I was talking about this incense book, which this one is really, really good. And this, is, this gives you more of the background, different rituals on how you can smudge with your um, incense as well. You know, different incense, patchouli, frankincense, dragon's blood, saddlewood, different things, um, um, excuse me, saddlewood, different things, and your myrrh, okay, your sage and whatnot. But different um, incense, you know, they bring about different things, and they put you in a different headspace. So when you're buying your incense, again, I wanted to be clear, because I know it kind of fuzzed out on us yesterday. I don't know what was going on with the, with the sound and whatnot. So, um, but that was yesterday. God brought us to today. So, um, but yeah, your different incense will bring about different head changes. So just keep that in mind. So just don't be just buying, you know, butt naked, sweet black pussy. I mean, I done seen all kinds of motherfucking vanilla and 
all kinds of now vanilla is good now and vanilla is the aphrodisiac so if you want to burn that when you want to heighten up your tea in the bedroom and whatnot you know what i'm saying you want to bring in a little yalang yalang things of that nature um that opium is cold is cold blooded when you're in the bedroom um that amber i like that in the bedroom i also like when i'm ready to really lay it down and stuff a little lavender or a little jasmine um, you know, those types of things. So it's different incense will do different things and put you in a different headspace. So just keep that in mind. Do your research about it. And then therefore, just like all my books and like that other book up there. Let me get this other book right quick. Because this other book I did not get down. And I wanted um, to talk about this. Because I also love um, oils and whatnot and and you know the different scents and whatnot but i didn't bring this one out but this is using essential oils um and so this book right here also um different oils do different things because of the different scents and whatnot um because it's, it's just aromatherapy y'all this is what i'm into right here i have my diffuser right here and it goes in a different array of different colors as it's um picking out different type of scents and see I have a lot of different oils here on the side, as well as, okay. hold on, now this one is Love Spell, these are a dollar, um, the guy, he hooks me up, and then this one is just tea tree oil, um, what, and this one is, because these are the ones that you guys use, Chanel number five, and this is Myrrh. 